Welcome back to Reef and Pond Wise. It's another stupendous afternoon in the hobby. And on this channel, we talk all about reef and pond related stuff. So if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We had some egret birds show up this morning, and I'm going to show you guys in this video how to stop heron and egret from coming into your pond. So let's go ahead and get started. There's nothing worse than a egret eating a koi early in the morning when you come out to your pond and these guys will eat up koi faster than your wife can figure out how to spend your money so what you want to do is look for ways to keep them out now I've done a video in the past about the decoys and I took the decoys out because you don't want them in your pond all the time so that predators get used to seeing them so this morning after I saw the egret bird and this thing was massive I took out that decoy and put him there and then I got my trusty alligator and put him there. Uh, in a minute I'm going to show you guys the secret, top secret remedy for keeping egrets out of your pond. But when you're having uh, a nice environment like this and everything's established, the last thing that you want to do guys is put wire or netting or some of the uh, pond keepers will do the fish line because it's just not attractive. You want to keep your pond looking as natural as you can and it just does not look good when you put the netting and all the other stuff on. I don't even like to have my decoys out um, when I don't need to have them. So if you look here, typically the egret will come from that low-lying area in the back where the grass is. And I'm going to show you guys a trick that helps to keep the heron and the egrets out. And it's really just these pebbles around your pond. Now, if you think about it, egret and heron, they come from an environment that is really made up of a marshy, uh, kind of muddy, sandy environment. And they really don't like to have these kinds of pebbles and textures and hard and soft and rounded uh, rocks on their feet so it helps keep them away to a certain extent but this egret that we saw today was just massive it was uh, three and a half to four feet guys and I was really concerned now I'm always going to come back to the pond eye and luckily for me I had just dosed pond eye yesterday and I did my weekly treatment so that if the egret were to make it up to the pond they would see him and they would just go right down to the bottom of the pond and they're camouflaged. So that's a good thing. The secret weapon though, in terms of keeping egret away, has always been for us something very, very simple, very, very easy, very, very cheap, and it's this. It's just a cheap radio. And so what you do is you turn this on and turn it up and you can keep it on talk radio and the birds actually hate uh, the, the noise. So this works really well. Uh, this is on AM right now. And what I like to do is try to find something just like that. And what you do is just leave it on talk radio and you point the speakers towards the pond and you can center it in such a way that the noise circulates around the yard and in the pond, not too loud where your neighbors are gonna get mad, but the egret and the heron will stay away because of the noise. So that's a really nice and easy way to keep the environment natural and not have to goober up your pond with a bunch of stuff to keep the heron out. Now we'll turn this on at night and we'll turn it on during the day when we go in the house Right now it is about 89 degrees, so it's too hot to sit out here. And so this will be turned on momentarily momentarily as I leave. So guys, if you like the video or you found it informative, give it a like. And until next time, anyone can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one. And that someone special is you.